Welcome to BritLab, where we're going to be giving you advice based mainly on science about how to pace yourself on a big night out. On a night out, it's the first drink that tastes the best and disappears the quickest. And it's the first drink that's the one you've got to worry about. Because with all its good intentions and high ambitions, it's the first drink that leads to the second drink, and the third, and the fourth, and the fifth. And before you know it, you're doing magnificent one-arm press-ups on the bar, or if you're my identical twin brother, then you find yourself in the grip of an uncontrollable urge to sing country karaoke music and then dissolve into sobbing. You were really jolly a second ago. <laughs> what an imbecile. Alcohol is one of the strongest drugs that's known to man. And I don't mean that lightly. I literally mean of all the things I can prescribe or that you can buy over the counter or that you can acquire in any way at all, alcohol has one of the most powerful effects on every part of your body. Not surprisingly, the speed at which you drink affects how drunk you get. So what can you do to slow yourself down and avoid getting completely cabbaged? Well, for once, the answer might actually be found at the bottom of the glass, or more precisely, at the top of the glass, because Researchers at the University of Bristol found that people who drink from glasses with straight sides drink up to 60% slower than people who drink from glasses with curved sides. Why don't I ever get to do research like that? Now this may sound unlikely, but actually the explanation's simple. It's all to do with your brain trying to judge how much you've drunk. It's harder to estimate how much is in the glass when the glass is curved, and so it makes it harder to judge how quickly you're drinking. The researchers tried this out by running an experiment in three pubs over the course of two weekends. Pubs made almost 25% less money on the weekends when they served beer or cider from straight glasses compared to the weekends when they served them from curved glasses. Researchers found that if there are markings on the glass indicating how much is in it, then you drink much, much slower. And you're likely to drink more when you're standing up rather than sitting down. You're also likely to pour yourself more wine into a wide glass compared to a narrow one, and less red wine than white wine because the colour stands out more. So the next time you're out on a school night, you could consider asking for a straight-sided glass. Or you could take a lesson from our French friends across the channel and limit your booze intake by drinking half pints. Santé. Went a bit quickly, didn't it? In the unlikely event that you can remember any of your own tips for avoiding drunken oblivion, type them below and then hit subscribe to BritLab.